Hello guys and welcome to your pick a card reading. Today I'm going to give you your divinely guided goddess power message regardless of gender but that is the topic today. I am using the goddess power cards as the overarching energy for your spread um, and you're going to choose from six separate options one two three four five and six. Go to the timestamp. Select your choice, hit the timestamp, and I'll see you at your reading. Um, I will see you guys all also Saturday for the live psychic show here on YouTube at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I very much look forward to that this Saturday. <laughs> all right, like this video if you have not already. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already for more empowering, insightful messages from the divine. I'll see you guys at your selection. So your overarching energy here is Quan Yen, Compassion, number 26. Now this card did come up reversed. So we're going to keep that in mind. Then we have number 14, the Fox, which also came up reversed. We're going to keep that in mind as well. And last but not least, we have the Eight of Swords. I release myself from self-inflicted blinds. All right, and that one did come up upright, which in this deck specifically is ex immensely positive with this deck specifically. So there is a lack of compassion that you have for yourself right now. You've been doing good overall. You've been better at being more gentle with yourself, but you have allowed yourself somewhere along your journey to become enmeshed with lower vibrational energies around you. A lot of you need a cleanse of your energy field. There are people around you that I feel have a lower vibrational energy that you're connecting to. For some of you very closely, possibly living with these people of a low vibration. And you're being asked to have compassion for all, even lower vibrational people's, people around you. Because everyone is learning. Everyone is becoming. Everyone is doing the best that they can from their point of view, from their consciousness and, and awareness levels. Everyone is fighting a fight. So compassion is being called upon. Compassion for yourself. Compassion for others around you. I do also feel that with the Eight of Swords here, that you are becoming aware that there are certain things you have become either numb to or you have not given enough time or attention to that needs to change. For a lot of you, I do feel like it is having a lack of compassion for self and others. Now, this isn't to condemn you. This is to bring your awareness to this matter in order for you to be able to alter it, to shift it. I also feel that some of you, now here's a very specific message coming through for some of you. Some of you have just become aware You've just taken the blindfold off to the fact that there's somebody deceitful that you're connecting to. Now, for those of you in that situation, this is somebody close to you that is untrustworthy in one way or another. If this is in regards to relationship, then your partner is possibly um, not being completely truthful in what they are doing. I'm not saying they're cheating. Um, that's something that's a large accusation. But what I'm saying is your partner is guilty of something here. Now, I do feel that you have been intuitively aware of this. For those of you who are in that situation, that's nothing new for you. You already had many signs about this. If you're in a happy relationship, ignore that one part. This is for a specific group of you. You're becoming a lot more honest with yourself on the fact that you can't trust your partner for one reason or another. 
you are being asked still to have compassion for your partner and also to have compassion for yourself as well in the situation. Now, this overall, again, looking at all of you, you're just becoming aware of the people you don't want in your life. You're becoming aware of who you don't resonate with, who you're not on the same frequency with. And because of that, because you're being honest with yourself on who is not the same frequency as you, which again, doesn't make this person any lesser than, but you do want to make healthy choices when it comes to the people you connect with. Birds of a feather flock together. You become like the people you connect with and hang out with. So you're becoming aware of who it is you want to cut out of who is not good for you in your life and who you can't trust. <laughs> Again, overall, you're being asked to have compassion for yourself and others around you, but move away from those that you can't trust and those that also want to keep you held down. Those that want to bind you in one way or another, they want you to play small so that they can feel better by pushing you down. You're being asked to release that energy, those connections. Now, what can you expect in the near future as you are honest with yourself and release this energy? What can you expect in your near future? And also I wanna see what is this untrustworthy energy that's most likely close to you? Who or what is this energy? Let's start there. Who or what is this untrustworthy energy? Quite a few cards came out. So we have the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Wow. For some of you, we have Earth energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air Sign, and a little bit of Fire. So I feel like it's mainly either Earth or Air. Um, and, and they may have Fire in their chart somewhere. But I'm feeling mainly Earth or Air Signs or people who embody those qualities. Um, but what I see here is that the, this is most likely a masculine energy. Now, masculine energy does not mean necessarily gender. It can oftentimes mean gender, but not always. But I'm feeling a masculine energy, someone who is a burden to you energetically. Someone who is a burden to you mentally, someone who gets in your head sends you negative thoughts or negative communication, somehow triggers your anxiety and overthinking. Again, it's a burden for you in some way. It's almost like it gets in the way of your self care or self love. It, it makes you unbalance this connection. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you've already nipped this in the bud. So that's kind of interesting. I feel that you have either already nipped this connection in the bud or you are in the process of doing so. Um, there will be ultimately an ending to this connection one way or another. And I do see that you're going to see the truth and the ending, whether it already happened or it's about to happen. Um, this doesn't have to be love. This can be friendship. This can be business partnership, whatever the case is, there's some connection, most likely a masculine. Um, and I'm getting earth sign more than air, but either earth or air, most likely earth. Um, but I am getting some of you, it could be air. Again, it's going to vary. These are just, you know, general um, energies I'm picking up on. So a masculine earth sign, maybe air sign with some fire in their charts that was burdensome to you, um, triggered your anxiety. And there was already an ending between you guys at some points. There may still need to be another ending or you have already ended this connection. For a lot of you, they may be trying to come back into your life after an ending had already happened in this connection. And it's highly advised that you are strong and walk away from this connection. But again, have compassion for yourself and all involved. So that was pretty specific, um, but that's what I'm getting here. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com. Like this video if you have not already. And I will see you Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the live psychic show. You guys have an enchanted day. 
those of you that chose option number two, let's have a look. Your overarching energy is Persephone and experience number 42. The Knights of Wands and number 36, Infinity. Now, number 36 was reversed, this one here. It was reversed, so we're going to keep that in mind. And actually, I want to clarify number 36 as well. The Page of Swords. Now, I'm getting a few different messages here. There's a very specific message that wants to come through for some of you, though. I am seeing that you are being protected divinely um, against making a decision that would not be beneficial to you. You're being protected against making unconscious, I don't want to say unconscious commitments, but kind of the feeling of unconscious commitments. Um, so you're being asked, you know, there's some sort of an experience in some area of life. Um, I also feel like for for some of you, it's not an experience per se, but it's more so this energy of um, being innocent, being a little naive and, and making certain decisions. And somebody could be trying to um, take advantage of that when it comes to some sort of decision. OK, for some of you, it is um, someone who is romantically interested in you. Um, so if you're talking to somebody who this doesn't feel like you're in a relationship with. Let me get some more clarifiers. Hold on. So we have the Page of Pentacles, which was on the top of the deck anyways. Um, so that's interesting. Even though I shuffled it, it came out. <laughs> Clarifying Perse Persephone. I feel like there's something you're not seeing. There's some sort of possi possibility or opportunity that you're not aware of. And I want to see what this is. Okay. And what are you supposed to watch out for? Because I feel like there's something you're supposed to watch out for. That you're being protected against. Okay, this makes sense. <laughs> for a second, I was like, wait, that still doesn't make sense. Okay. Wow, I had to pull a lot of clarifiers for you guys. So we have what you had to watch out for. We have the Ten of Cups. The King of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to get into that in a second. I'm going to put this over here. Okay, so let me look at all these together really quickly. Hold on. I had to get some more clarifiers because this, this has a lot of information I wanted to really dive into. Okay. I'm getting a lot of messages. So let me start off with the overarching message for everybody here. And then I'm going to get into a more specific message I'm picking up for some of you. Okay. So what I see here is that you guys are leveling up. You, I feel like you were very inexperienced um, in some areas of life, but you are now leveling, leveling up. You have learned a lot and you have recently and are currently undergoing some sort of breakthrough in your headspace. Um, you are now able to make with the page of sword tier, um, you're able to stay in control within your mind. You're better at focusing your mind. And if you come un unaligned with your thought patterns, I see that you're able to bring that back, bring your energy back into your being and stay in control in that sense of your thought patterns better than you were before. You're still working on that, but you're doing a lot better with that. Um, I do also see that you are open to opportunities for personal growth and you have already gone through a lot of personal growth as it as it is. I do feel that um, there still needs to be a lot of transformational processes you need to undergo physically in the physical realm, whether it's with finances or with your physical body. There's something that I feel like you want to obtain, some sort of goal you want to reach. Again, for some of you, it's financially, career-wise. Um, for others of you, it's with your physical body, wanting to reach certain goals. And I feel like you have a long ways to go, but you're open to, um, to traveling that journey to reaching that goal. Now, with the Knight of Wands, you're much better at making decisions without pressuring yourself to make it fast. In the past, you may have made um, commitments, agreements, decisions 
on a whim. You have definitely gotten a lot better at slowing down and not feeling pressured to respond immediately. You are less triggered. You react a lot less than you have in the past. So you still do have to work on that, but you have worked on that greatly. Now with the page of swords and the page of pentacles, these are the pages. So there's still a lot of work that needs to be done here, even though you have done a lot of work already. With the knights, I feel like you have worked more so on not making decisions too quickly. Um, okay, so that's really good. You still need to level up to king and queen, which I do see at the end. This is <laughs> more cards for what I see in your future. Um, the queen card was in here, regardless on gender, you will level up to that ultimate level there. Um, one thing that I do see you need to look out for though, we have the tower, the broken mirror and the attack, all powerful cards that can bring fear. You don't have to be scared though, because your outcome is really good. Um, but this is just kind of a heads up. You guys, some of you are under attack right now, a psychic attack, um, and it could be verbally, it could be energetically. With the broken mirror here, it's like someone trying to send you bad juju in one way or another. Someone is consciously trying to psychic attack you. I feel that heavily, heavily. Um, but with the tower card, your advice is to surrender. Surrender and know how to go forward. When you surrender, you're just going to know what to do next, inch by inch, just a cinch. Um, because I do feel that there's something that you're not acknowledging, some sort of opportunity um, or decision or next step that you're not acknowledging um, in order to move forward. I also feel that you are a tremendous energy transmuter. So you have a strong cap capability to transmute lower vibrational energies. Um, so you're being asked to utilize this ability. So take this negative energy and transmute it back into love and light. Transmute this energy with your inner light. Um, you are very, very strong and very powerful at, at shifting this energy. So shift the energy. Don't let it stick with you. Um, I do, again, <laughs> want to get one more clarifier on this stack here, okay? I'm telling you, so many clarifiers for this group. <laughs> okay. So is this thing going to happen in the future? Okay. Is it going to be negative for the collective? Okay, so is it... Okay, I got the clarification I needed. I had to pull my pendulum out. <laughs> okay, so I feel like this is what I'm getting. Okay, <laughs> yes, you guys have leveled up in very di uh, various different ways and you're continuing to level up in, in drastic ways, a lot of ways um, still. Now, what I'm seeing is that something that's going to happen suddenly shocking, it's going to shock you and others in the future, in the near future, is good. You have, again, this psychic attack is already happening and has been happening for quite some time. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen again more drastically in the future, but this is how it's going to happen. It's going to be positive, okay? You guys have been psychically attacked for so long people have wanted to keep you down for a long time there have been generational curses upon you um, and also possibly people wanting to put curses on you now <laughs> in this lifetime um, whatever the case is people have always come at you the wrong way or just somehow wanted to affect your self-image and self-esteem people wanted you to look at yourself negatively for whatever reason um, it, for a lot of you it's because they didn't understand you or they 
um, you were just different. You stood out and people just picked on you or just for whatever reason wanted to feel bigger than you in some way. Or they just saw that you were an easy target and somehow. But what I'm seeing here is with the tower card and the broken mirror and number 23, <laughs> you guys have been on a strong spiritual pursuit. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that you are breaking, you're shattering these curses. You are shattering this negative energy. And um, you're also breaking free of the people, of the very people who seek to continue to treat you in an unjust manner. You are breaking down um, belief systems that kept you in a low vibration, feeling lesser than, feeling less than others. And again, certain connections are going to be suddenly broken out of your life. This is going to be positive because whatever connections are torn and ripped away out of your life, whatever people, these were people that were limiting you. These were people that were sending you psychic attack. Um, these were people that saw how beautiful and magical you were. You see, there's a unicorn back here in the background. Um, and then there's this cloaked individual being all creepy. <laughs> so these are the other people here in this cloak looking at you. You're the unicorn. And these people possibly were obsessed with you in one way or another. And they were keeping a close eye on you. Um, and again, saw your value, but they didn't want you to see your value. Okay. With this card also, I'm getting a separate message that you shall seek that you shall find that which you seek. You have been on a very deep spiritual pursuit and you're having these massive breakthroughs and you're going to continue to have these massive massive revelations in regards to yourself in regards to your experience in regards to your life you're leveling up so much and it's beautiful and it's really positive to feel and see um, because you have been held down you have been I almost want to say the underdog for so long because people made you feel that way people put you in that position again you know, a lot of these are people that were very close to you. Some of them maybe not close to you, but they kept a close eye on you. <laughs> um, in regards to relationship, you guys are being advised not to settle for um, this type of energy in your life, whether it's love, friendship, business, partnership, whatever the case is, you're being asked to not settle for a less than what you deserve in connections. You deserve to have positive connections that are mutual and respect love and honor and so don't settle for anything less than okay um i do feel that you need to stay on your ground when it comes to looking for your peace there are going to be people and there have been people bringing conflict to you in your life whether it's literally creating arguments um i really do see that you need to stay on your ground and look for peace because you have a lot of good things coming to you. This psychic attack won't be able to affect you much longer. Okay, now let's look into your future stack here. Again, I got so many cards for you guys. <laughs> Let me move all of these aside. Um, you know, I also feel like you guys, a lot of people took advantage of your kindness. They really mistook your kindness for weakness. And maybe you let people get away with, with a lot out of a place of kindness, but you're now rising above, um, above that negative behavioral pattern. Being kind does not mean allowing for unkind people to mistreat you. And that's one of the breakthroughs you're having as well. Now, what I see for your future here is, again, you guys have been listening to your intuition. We have number 33 of the moon. You've been listening to your intuition quite um, loudly. It's been loud and you've been listening to it. And because of that, I am seeing that, um, again, you have a strong focus. You're, li you're focused on your future and creating a positive future. Your intuition is guiding you there. So you're possibly setting goals. If you're not setting goals yet, you need to because you will most likely reach these goals. Um we have the two of wands here. So again, I feel that you are very focused on making the future you want. 
to actually happen, to actualize in the physical realm. Again, your intuition is guiding you there. You're very driven when it comes to a bright, positive future. Um, and because you're listening to your intuition, again, you are going to reach the queen energy, regardless on gender. You're going to reach queen status. You're going from page to knight a queen and so this means that you are going to be in your power um, again very connected with your intuition very connected with the divine um, and also just someone who has a lot of power in her words a lot of power in his or her words again regardless of gender um, and also just spirit is super super on your side, super aligned with spirit um, very open crown chakra really easy um, to communicate with spirit. And I also feel like you are going to improve your own communication abilities as well. Um, I'm also seeing we have the pig number 22. There's an abundance of luck that's going to be manifested for you. Look, we have number 33, two, 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 and then two of wands, two, 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 two. So look up angel number uh, 33 and angel number two, 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 and two, 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 two. Um, you're going to have some further insight there, but you are going to gain once you utilize your intuition, focus on what you actually want to manifest in your future, you're going to shift into the queen energy. And from the queen energy, again, you're going to manifest an abundance of luck, an abundance of great, great luck. Um, and this luck is going to aid you in manifesting um, the king of wands energy. So we have queen and king here. No more pages, no more knights. You're exiting that energy. And so you're stepping into the king of wands energy, the queen energy. Um, and I see that with this abundance of luck, you're going to have the Midas touch. You're going to be very successful in all that you do. And with being very successful in all that you do, that's going to bring in the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups is um, emotional fulfillment, completely satisfied with your life, completely satisfied with yourself. Um, you're going to have... You're going to have beautiful relationships. So you're going from really sucky, crappy connections and people in your life that were wishing on your downfall. People that you possibly didn't realize, you know, this, these could have been partners, ex-partners, friends that were wishing on your downfall because of jealousy um, and because they didn't see themselves rising up like you're about to. Whatever the case is... Um, the success you're going to be attracting is going to attract emotional fulfillments and positive connections all around. Um, it's going to be very satisfying. You're going to be very happy with your success, very happy with yourself and your status, and also very happy with the connections that are left in your life and the new ones that are coming in because these are going to be the positive connections that your soul aligns with. Um, now, the only thing with all this success, with all this happiness, with all this luck, it is going to bring in some of these people from the past. Now, again, these people are going to be ripped out of your life. But when this happens, this success, they're going to come right back like boomerangs. Um, so your advice here is the seven of swords. Take care of that which you value, which is yourself primarily, um, but also your family your happiness, your success, your luck, um, everything you're going to have going on for you. You're being asked to protect, take great care of that which you value, okay? Because there's going to be people that are going to be shady, that are going to want what you have, okay? Whether it's a happy family life, which I see here, a happy family life, happily ever after, <laughs> a very beautiful partnership as well, because we do have the queen and the king. You're going to embody both of these energies, but I also see that... You know, this does also point to a beautiful partnership as well. Someone who is on the same level as you, someone who's ambitious, somebody who's self-driven, self-motivated, and um, also lucky as well. You guys are going to mirror each other on your past, on really stepping on the same path um, of following your intuition to lead you to success and cutting some people out of your life. Okay. So that's what I see here for you guys overall. But don't forget, um, with the Persephone card here, I really do see that, again, you have learned valuable lessons from this place of being naive in the past. You have really learned grand lessons. And I mean, honestly, you have been stepped on so many times. But now you're going to 
shift into a very beautiful reality experience, okay? So if you would like to book a personal reading, you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com. Also like this video if you have not already. I'll see you Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the live psychic show here on YouTube. Have an enchanted day. Group number three. Hello and welcome to your pick a card reading. Let's get straight into it. So your overarching energy is Athena number five knowledge. Now this card did come up in reverse. So we're going to keep that in mind. It came up reverse. But that is a beautiful card. Look at that owl. Um, and then we have number number four. The breakup also came up reverse. We're going to keep that in mind as well. Um, and then we have the Two of Cups. So what I'm seeing here with the Athena card and the breakup reversed, again, came up reversed, is that there is a lack of clarity when it comes to a certain connection in your life. Now, this feels very much in regards to love for most of you. It may not be love. It could be any connection that it, you are close to, whether it's friendship, relationship, but most likely for most of you, it is love. Now, some of you just went through a breakup. Others of you are kind of teeter-tottering on a breakup um, or, you know, disconnecting from somebody, a friendship, love, whatever the case is. And... You're being told that you don't have all the information. Things feel unclear. Things may feel a little chaotic when it comes to this connection. Or again, unclear. And you're really wanting to walk away from this connection, whether it's a friend, love, love interest, whatever the case is. You're wanting to walk away. But you're being asked not to do so just yet. You don't have all the information. And you may be making assumptions. You may be projecting a story onto the situation that is not accurate. So you're being asked not to walk away from this connection. Um, you may be seeing a lot of owls or be close to owls or have an owl spirit totem. Um, but what I see here is that there is deep love in this connection. This is a true soul connection. Now, whether it's Again, in regards to love or friendship or business, this most likely not business, though. It's either friendship or love. It's a, a, a very deep, intimate connection where you can see into the other person's soul very effortlessly, very easily. Um, again, you're being asked not to walk away from this connection just yet because things are not clear and things will become clear, but you need to step back, ask the divine to give you this clarity and be receptive of the information that you receive, okay? Okay. That's what I'm getting overall for the overarching energy is you don't have all the information when it comes to some situation that you're thinking about walking away from. Um, again, there is a lot of love here. And again, even if you ultimately decide to walk away from this connection, you are being told that you are worthy of the deepest kind of love, whether it's this connection or another one. Okay. But still, you don't have all the answers when it comes to this connection, it feels like. Let's get some insight on your future. Now, for your future here, we have the cats, number 11, and the queen of swords. So what I'm seeing is that... There's some sly energy that's trying to enter your life somehow. Um, it could be untrustworthy um, friends or untrustworthy partners somehow. For a lot of you, it feels like untrustworthy friends that you're going to be cutting out. The, you could very well already have this energy in your life now. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys already have this energy in your life. And you're going to be cutting this energy out. Untrustworthy friends um, or even frenemies. Um, or again, just people who are very selfish and only come around when they can get something out of you. Um, now, you're going to be cutting these connections out in the near future, I do see. It could be up to three connections. It's going to vary for all of you. Um, but what I see here, okay, 
I'm getting a bigger picture by pulling these cards. I got a bigger picture here for you. What I see is for some of you, it is very well a breakup. But for all of you, what I'm seeing is that you are becoming aware of the people you do want to cut out of your life because there's something that you weren't aware of before. And you may have considered like, or asked yourself, like, is this a good connection for me? Is this a genuine person? Does this person really have my best interest in, in heart, at heart? Um, and you're going to realize who does and doesn't. Yep. And this is what you're going to be left with the Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. Again, that Ace of Swords is clarity on who is a good connection. Clarity on um, which connections you can have success with. And, and again, which connections are true, genuine, based off of genuine feelings that are positive. Again, it's going to be either love or friendship, mutual respect, mutual love. You're going to keep these connections around and you're going to be a lot better at spotting these red flags in the future. You're going to be a lot better at spotting these red flags in the future. And definitely, I see you cutting these connections out if they're already in your life now. Um, I see you breaking free of these frenemies. For a lot of you, it feels like a friend-related thing where there's just somebody that you didn't really know all the way. Maybe they, don't want, they wouldn't let you know them all the way. Whatever the case is. Um, for some of you, that's the case. For others of you, it is love related. Somebody that you is sly and tricky. Somebody that um, you can't trust. They're looking out for themselves. Um, whatever the case is, you're going to be cutting this energy out of your life. And you're going to have the clarity on who you do want to invest in and on what a healthy connection looks like to you. Um, okay, that's what I see here. So that was pretty straight to the point. That's what I see happening for you. Um, you're going to be left with, again, clarity, the two of cups, and we have the ten of pentacles on the bottom here. <laughs> so strong family connection. Um, and a lot of finances, a strong financial foundation for you as well. Um, whatever the case is, I see a lot of celebration when it comes to the connections that you actually value here. That's what you're going to be left with again. And you're going to be cutting out this energy that you have already been considering cutting out. Now for others of you, again, for those of you that are in the situation where you are thinking about walking away from somebody, you're being asked to really take a moment and reflect. Don't make assumptions, okay? Because for some of you, yes, there are very well there are people in your life that you can't trust. For others of you, you may be making assumptions and projecting negative stories onto a connection that is not valid or accurate. Now, for those of you that are walking away from people that are, in fact, um, sly, sneaky, trickery, trickery, <laughs> a trickster, <laughs> um, there's already been a lot of red flags in regards to that connection. So for those of you in that situation, you already know there, that there have been red flags. Don't ignore the red flags. That, if you've been feeling the red flags, if this person's toxic or negative, then yes, cut that person out. Um, the divine has your back in cutting this person out. Um, okay. Now, for those of you that are projecting this, there haven't really been any red flags per se, but there has been the strong emotion that you feel for this person. For those of you who are um, projecting a false negative story onto a connection that you're being advised to hold on before walking away from, that connection has had only positive feelings with the interactions with that connection. There haven't been really any red flags um, per se. Okay, so I really do feel that you will have the clarity whether on whichever one this resonates with you, whether this person is needing to be cut out of your, out of your life or whether you need to hold on a minute before you walk away. You're going to have the clarity and you're going to have the success and you're going to be ultimately left with, um, again, valuable connections. Okay whether it's these people or other people. <laughs> if you would like to book a personal reading, you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com. Hit the like button if you have not already. Um, I'll see you Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the live psychic show here on YouTube. Have an enchanted day.
Those of you that chose option number four, let's have a look at your cards. What is it that you need to know? We have the overarching energy, number 40, Ocean Generosity. This one was reversed, so we're going to keep that in mind. And then we have number 20, the kiss up. This one was also reversed. We are also going to keep that in mind. Now, the card you have upright is very powerful. The ace of wands. Upright. So it's really interesting. Having these cards reversed. Um, you're being asked not to be miserly. Now, not saying that you're greedy, not saying that you're somebody that's trying to hold on to a lot of things. It's more so the energy of being miserly either, for some of you, it is with your possessions and finances. For others of you, it is with your affection, with yourself. You're holding back on expressing yourself fully to the world. You're holding back on being your affectionate self or being as affectionate as you really can be. Um, and... This is actually stopping the flow for you, stopping the flow of abundance in your life. You're holding back somehow in one way or another in regards to either one or more connections in life. And this is creating a massive block. I feel like you would be a lot, you would be receiving a lot more by giving more. So you may not be giving as much as you could right now in one way or another, um, but start to give more, more affection, more positive energy outwards. Um, it's going to only amplify the positivity the, and affection you get back. And it's really going to open your heart. It's really going to expand your gratitude big time. And again, you're going to be receiving back what you put out there, which is always happening. So amplify the positivity. Amplify what you give out. Um, and you're going to get it back tremendous a lot <laughs> now with the ace of wands here um i do feel like you've also been cutting yourself off from your inspiration now for some of you this could be creativity kind of holding yourself back from your creative expression in one way or another for others of you i feel that it's holding yourself back to um to following your bliss in every single moment. You're holding yourself back from being in the now and being open to the good things that are trying to flow into your life experience. Um, and also, again, for some of you, it very well could be holding back passion sexually with your partner or just your sexuality, you know, letting your sexual energy flow in a, you know, and obviously a smart way. <laughs> um, you're holding yourself back from being empowered through your passion. I also feel that you are not following your bliss in each and every moment. Like I said, once you start listening to your passions, what your heart is calling you to do, you're going to start to see the synchronicities a lot more from the divine on which direction to head in. Okay. Again, I really do feel like once you open up and start giving more, it's almost like life is going to open up to you. And I feel that you're going to experience life in a very radically new way where you're going to have more excitement. You're going to feel more alive. Um, and you're going to see the connections around you are going to be re-sparked. So if you're in a love connection, if you're in a commitment, um, whether it's business or love, it may feel a little blocked or stagnant right now. In one way or another, you may be kind of even waiting for you to see what your partner does and reacting off of them like I'll do the dishes if he does the laundry or you know I'll give him a kiss I'll be more cuddly if he's more cuddly or he or she but you're being advised to be the first one to give and you'll see how that transforms this energy this connection transforms radically and it's going to have a lot more excitement and positive energy in it passion whether, again, it's love or a business connection. Now, if this is in regards to business, do more at work. Don't cut corners. I don't necessarily want to say kiss up to your boss, but go out of your way to be nice to your boss um, and to do things that you know your boss would like you to do. And I do feel that this will lead to a promotion rather quickly. Wow. This is what I see for your future, the Ace of Wands and the Chariots, which is a major arcana. What I see for your future is you will overcome this obstacle. 
you will overcome any obstacle that's thrown your way. You're going to be victorious because you're going to make it so. You're going to have a clear direction in your mind and you're going to go forth with confidence to victory, to success. <laughs> and the lover's card here. I mean, wow. By trusting your knowing, by trusting yourself in the very moment right here, right now. Trust that all is well elsewhere. You don't have to have your mind in several different places. Be present right here, right now. Um, and know where to make commitments, whether in regards to love or business. You need to know when to make a commitment and to stay committed to your commitments and be honorable. And once you do these things, you will, again, have great victory in your life. Okay, guys, great, great victory in regards to career and or love. Um, this is profoundly positive. It looks like a massive, massively positive shift will ensue once you start to be more open hearted and giving, um, giving more positive energy outwards to these connections that you do want to see thrive and be honorable and committed in these commitments that you have made. Okay. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com. I'll see you Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Live Psychic Show here on YouTube. Hit the like button if you have not already um, and subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys next time. Have an enchanted day. Those are the shows group number five. Let's have a look into what your goddess power message is. So we have Hecate. Now, th this did come up in reverse, number 19, the in between. Again, it did come up in reverse, so I'm going to keep that in mind. And then we have um, the five of pentacles and number 35, the sun. The sun did come up in reverse. It's still massively positive, even though it is reversed, though. So we're going to look into all of these, okay? So what I'm seeing for you guys is that you have this energy of being indecisive in one way or another. You're in, a, you're in this in-between place, neither here, neither there. You're being asked to ground your energy. In order to realign your energy, you need to ground it. Now, I do see that you are being asked to, to have faith in the divine to have trust and to know that you are supported and you are never alone. You have a spirit team. Everyone has a spirit team. You can reach out to them. You can reach out to Hecate specifically if you'd like or whoever your spirit team is, whoever you work with. Um, but again, it's funny. It's almost like there's a lack of faith in making the next step. Because you are in this in-between place, you're needing to take action to get to the next step, to the next place. And it's funny because you may be indecisive in one way or another in regards to life. Um, once you step into this faith, once you trust the divine, trust your path and make a decision, whether you fail or not, make a decision, make a move, because it's better than being stuck. You'll learn. But it's funny because you have the sun here. And because it was reversed, it's almost like for a lot of you, this is career related, not all of you. For a lot of you, it's career related. Um, but again, it could be in other areas of life for others of you because this is a general reading. But what I'm seeing here is that um, in regards to career, you have been fearful, especially if you own your own business um, or work somewhere where whatever the case is <laughs> career wise. You're being asked to take the next steps that are required of you in order to get to the next level. Um, it may be fearful and it may also leave you feeling like it requires a lot of money to, to invest somehow. Invest in the areas that you want. Again, whether it's career-wise, business-wise, connection-wise, you're being asked to invest energy, time for some of you, finances towards this new path in order to see the sun, success. This is the most positive card in this Oracle deck, as well as any tarot deck. Um, but so the results are immensely positive, profoundly positive. I want to clarify a little bit more on what you can expect in the future. If you do um, take charge of your life, regardless on any sort of obstacles that may be there, what will be the outcome for you if you listen to your heart, listen to the path that you're being guided to?
It's really interesting. <laughs> On the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. We have the Ten of Swords and the Star. So there will be, I see, endings, um, the ending of feeling like you're stuck in mental anguish. The ending of, let me see, is this other, let me pull the Magician out. Look, the Nine of Cups. <laughs> which is wish fulfillments. But let's see here. I want to clarify this in of swords. Is it the ending of... Actually, I'm going to use my pendulum to ask. Is it the ending of certain connections? Okay. Um, is it the ending of being at rock bottom in one way or another? You know, I'm hearing that song, leave the past behind and walk away. Anyways, so what I'm seeing here is it's the ending of feeling like you're at rock bottom in one way or another and stepping into your power. It's the ending of feeling defeated. It's the end of feeling like you're, again, like mentally tortured, <laughs> whether it's self-inflicted or not. It's the end of that cycle. Uh, feeling again at rock bottom um, and what I see here is you manifesting perfectly what you desire which what you desire here is a star which is what you will manifest a star and the sun success um, in your undertakings also but becoming a successful person I see your future by taking this advice is becoming a successful person embodying a successful person manifesting yourself and in, in exactly how you want yourself to be um for a lot of you this could be changes in your appearance for the better um a massive glow up here you i do feel that by taking this advice and having faith which the star card is all about faith and it's almost like a lack of faith here in your future, in your own decision-making abilities, in the divine to have your back. Have faith. Um, and that's what's going to get you to the star energy is feeling hopeful again about life. Um, but also being positive about your future is going to manifest a positive future indeed. And again, like I said, you're going to embody a successful individual. You're going to become the embodiment of success. Um, and that's what makes someone attract success is becoming a successful individual, investing in yourself. For a lot of you, you have not been investing the proper time, energy, and or money in yourself and your own ideas, business ideas. And um, for some of you, possibly hobbies that you want to monetize. Um, whatever the case is, I do see that there's great success here for those of you who invest in yourself and your skills and your talents. Um, and you will feel reborn. You'll feel alive again. You may feel right now very depleted, defeated, and um, unmotivated, unsupported. And <laughs> I know that sounds harsh, but like, it's okay because by taking this advice on having faith and putting the proper effort, energy, time into and finances into yourself and your ideas, um, your business, whatever the case is, then you will have great success. Again, you're going to radiate such positive, high vibrational energy, no matter where you go, you're going to see that you're exactly where you meant to be. Okay, so this is ultimately really, really positive. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com. Hit the like button if you have not already. I'll see you Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the live psychic show here on YouTube. Have an enchanted day. Those of you that chose option number six, let's have a look into what it is your goddess power message is. We have number 48, Spider Woman. Holy moly, that feels powerful. <laughs> just looking at this is powerful. I just want to say, you have such a powerful lineage, powerful energy that you yourself radiate, powerful ancestors by your side, powerful spirit team. Um, but anyway, so number 48, Spider Woman, co-creation. And then we have the Knight of Swords and number eight, illness. The good news is the illness was reversed, okay? So this is ultimately exceptionally positive. So I want to clarify the illness card really quickly.
And actually, before I clarify that, I'm going to ask if this already happened or if it's going to happen. Okay, this has already happened. So that's another good thing. <laughs> so let me see. Not just this, but the overarching energy is ultimately positive. Okay. I do still want to clarify the illness card though. <laughs> On the bottom of the deck is the chariot. So I'm gonna keep this out because I do feel that that pertains to the message. I'm gonna put these over here and these over here. Okay. What I see here, your journey has, has been quite intense, quite difficult. I'm seeing that with the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords here, there's been much conflict, especially with the Illness card here. There's been tremendous amounts of conflict and resistance in your life externally, um, affecting your internal realm, affecting your peace. And so what I'm seeing here is that you have been, you have felt, and possibly some of you already are still here, defeated. And for some of you, you could have battled with mental illness. Not all of you. Not all of you. Um, but whatever the case is, there was, I feel like, one or more people that were bringing conflict in your life and creating internal conflict within your own mind in one way or another. Your divine team has seen this. They have return that karma back to that sender. So the person who has tried to play mind games on you, the person who has tried to, in one way or another, um, get in your head and put negative thoughts in your head, um, disturb your peace, that karma has been returned already threefold. And you are in this Knight of Swords energy now. You're a lot wiser from these experiences. You are um, choosing your battles more wisely, more carefully now. You're not just going, you're not allowing for people to trigger you in the same way as the past, and you're not reacting the same way as you have before. You are now a lot more, again, careful on which battles you embark on. So with the the Spider Woman card here, number 48, she she is helping you to claim your power back. Again, your ancestors. I feel like this card represents your ancestors. <laughs> um, you're definitely stepping back into your power and you're letting the world hear your roar. You're giving a bite back. You're biting back. You are not letting people... Um, tamper with your mind and emotions any further you're allowing for your rage to come out to the surface if it if it need need to if you need it to again not just rage in an uncontrolled outburst but it's almost like this feeling of empowerment this subtle anger that comes with empowerment sometimes <laughs> um, breaking free from those that have harmed you in the past you a lot of you have already healed your mind have already healed this internal conflict and have already stepped away from this external conflict. Some of you are still walking away from this conflict internally and or externally and stepping into this spider woman energy regardless 
regardless on gender. Regardless on gender, you're stepping into the spider woman energy. And also into the king of swords energy. So going from knight to swords. And they're the same. Um, they're both swords. So that's interesting. I do feel like you are becoming a lot wiser when it comes to being strategic in life. Whether it's strategically cutting these energies out of your life. Strategically um, rising above any sort of drama. I also see that you are able to see things more clearly. You're able to make very good decisions um, from a really grounded, logical place, but also listening to your intuition at the same time. You're able to see, you're shifting into this energy of seeing things really, really clearly and seeing any sort of conflict a mile away and stepping away from it before it even happens is what I see. Because you're going to be entering these energies, I see that you are going to have the chariot here in your future. The chariot in your future is pointing to massive success and victory over your enemies. <laughs> that sounds funny. It's like, yes, victory over your enemies. <laughs> um, but in the way where they will no longer be able to get in your way. Your enemies, those that brought opposition conflict to you will no longer be able to stop you hold you back or affect you in any way because you are going to ride past them and keep going towards your goal you're, you're focused on yourself you're focused on your peace you um are learning to stand your ground as you need to but you are moving forward with confidence towards success in your life here Nothing will be able to hold you back um, anymore. Whatever was holding you back for a long time. For some of you, you've been held back for eight years. For eight years, you have been really surrounded by some, for some of you, narcissists. For others of you, just toxic individuals that were trying to bring you down. And, and so, again, it's not going to be eight years for all of you. But what I see here, again, is a massive, massive massive breakthrough for you anyway so that is your pick a card reading if you would like to book a personal reading you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com hit the like button if you have not already i'll see you saturday at 2 p.m eastern standard time for the live psychic show have an enchanted day